Now let's talk about adding pages to your site. Pages are going to be for usually for like things that aren't going to change much, like a contact page. So let's go ahead and make a contact page. Click on Add New, and I'm going to say Contact Us. Uh, random stuff here. Just fill out the form below. Contact us. And in this theme that we're using for iPageTrainingDemo.com, um, they actually have a contact page built in. So let's click Publish. And I should point out, just in case you didn't notice because I went way too fast, over here in the Page Attributes box, for this I selected Template Contact Page. All right, let's check out that page. There's the text I wrote. And then here's the contact form. SDF, ASDF.com, ASDF.com. Yeah, so, um, it's showing a little orange there. There, ASDF, ASDF. Okay. Um, and then just click send message. So, um, another thing that you'll use pages for is creating something to display blog posts, for example. So you create a page called blog. And then in this theme, uh, it uses page templates again. So you can see right here, I created a page called blog. And this is all something, this is all stuff from instructions inside the theme guidelines, um, the step-by-step -step stuff that the author sent with the theme. So whatever theme you get, you'll get something telling you how to do all this. If you do have any questions though, uh, just email me at ian at ipagetraining.com and I'll do my best to help you. And um, if you need me to, I'll, I can make a quick video on how to do it. I'm sure it'll help some other people who have similar questions. So on this blog page, <coughs> blog page, excuse me, you can see I selected the blog template, and then for this particular theme, he requires using custom fields. So I created a category custom field and used category ID three, which is featured, um, and then poster page. That's just saying how many how many uh, posts you want to show on this page. So then when you visit uh, ipagetrainingdemo.com forward slash blog right here, um, you can see I only have three posts in that category, but it's, it would display five if I did have five. But um, anyway, this is just listing the, the latest posts in that category or multiple categories, depending on how you set it up. So maybe that sounded complicated. If it did, just email me for, for help. I'll make more videos or revise this video, but uh, it really depends on what theme you're using. Most of them don't require using those custom fields I was talking about um, right here. So um, yeah, with that said, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you got any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.